They're not too big at all. That's how you want them long. Let me see. Turn around. I like them. It's not big. It's not even big like the other one you said. Just roll the bottom on it. See how close it looks. It's falling down. Oh, God. And them the four ones, they... Just need a belt. Okay, I'm changing this one. You like that one? Oh, God. This one is. Ain't no one. Damn cute. You should buy them. You got money, you gonna buy them. I mean, it's cute. Okay. All right, y'all. She was done. Which one? Y'all think she got? She got three pair. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Sheikah, and I'm back with another one. You ain't going over there. Welcome to the vlog, y'all. Happy Tuesday. So we is out here at the dentist in the parking lot, sitting waiting. Um, this dentist office, they, they office, uh, front office is very, very, very small. It's like a house built into an office. Anyway, no, I need to find them another dentist though, because I want a more children friendly dentist, and it needs to be more open space because I got too many kids. But um, yeah, so we waiting to the here till they call us. No, don't go over there. All the winners, guys. You can get out, AJ. Get on out the car. They seen up in the car. Back in the cool shade on the trees. And then Kira run around. And hubby out running around. So, um... They all in on their phones and tablets. So I just wish they hurry up because I gotta go to work in a little bit. In a few hours. Let's try and get all the way because they start back to school next week. There's money coming up. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna probably add a couple clips in here from the other day. I think Sunday. Sunday we end up with me and one of my 12 year we end up going to the mall to take back did we take back her pants? No, we had to take up in her pants Saturday at the mall. I went no Friday. My bad. Friday we went to the mall. All of us went to the mall. Took back her pants that I showed y'all in the hall. We took those back. Friday or Saturday. We took them back. And then Sunday me and her went and she tried to look for 20, forever 21 to see if she could find some. She didn't like those. Went to Charlotte Roots. She didn't like those. Um, you ready to get out? Hey, huh, sit down and play with your tablet. The wind is blowing everything. It's not even that hot back there. It actually feel good. You about to go in a minute. You about to go inside the dentist's office in a minute. I'm going to see what's going on. Um, what am I going to say? Kira. So we end up going to Ross. So I probably put a couple of clips in her Ross uh, you know, trying on stuff. So she ended up switching two of those pants that I showed y'all in the hall. She ended up switching two of those. AJ, hush and sit down. And I ended up buying her another pair of pants, so yeah. I'm really not really wrong with the pants, but they do fit her little baggish. They supposed to be. They supposed to be baggy anyways, but you know she slim, so she didn't want them too too baggy. What is that? Is that a? Is that a snake or something? Oh, that was a damn snake. What the hell is that? We would have been big. Yeah, so, um, I need to mess over with child. Ready to get them over with, they done, start doing, get 
their hair. So I'm getting them some hair tomorrow. So my 13 year old will do my 12 year old hair. Start on her hair because she got a lot of hair. And I told her, instead of y'all trying to do it all in one day, you could just take you a couple days and just do the hair. So I got to get that hair to do that. And then I got to find my oldest daughter. She want a wig with the bang, which I told her I could get her a quick wig like that. But she want a wig, which is this on getting her wig. So I already seen one. I know where to go get it from. So I got to get that. And they just look rest of this stuff and two foot bags and I'm done, y'all. And I am done. But you know what? I need to try AJ's shoes on because I didn't ever try them on to make sure they fit. Before this week is out, just in case I don't gotta go to the Nike store, I hope he can fit them. He should be able to fit them because he normally wear a wear a one. And I believe I got him a one and a half. And his new shoes, his last shoes I bought, I think they were one or one and a half. So I'm just hoping he, he can fit it. So be back, y'all. Let me go in here and see if he can rest and call me because I don't want to be here all day. So y'all, we is in Walmart now. Just left the enemies. Listen, I got a story to tell y'all. All the kids ain't even get their teeth clean. But we gonna sit down and talk about that. I had to really go off on this man. You know, salad. What? What is it? Mommy, give me some strawberries. Come on. Uh, how much are strawberries? Cherry, cherry no, how much the big pack? Get twenty-six dollars. Good thing bananas. Here it got one snack, right? Oh. Get the one. Get some more potatoes. Y'all, it's a mess, y'all. <laughs> potatoes y'all stop now well, you're gonna be sent back to the car oh I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> give me a little peach I'm supposed to get no hard one. Okay, let's go over to the cheese. Mm, let me see. Where's my cheese? I will send y'all back to the car. She get 2%. She get three jugs, but I'm gonna get two today. Yeah. Ain't gonna do it. What a juice at? This is juice at? Okay. Yeah, two sixty four oh, hours. I know y'all done. Just trying to get up out of here. I need to work in a little bit. Sixty four hours. This is wick. This is the full ounce. I found no lemon juice. Lemon juice. Apple juice. Apple juice.
I've been going there ever since my two oldest was maybe two, three years old. Yeah, yeah, parts of it. Ever since they was babies, I've been going to his dentist. Um, I don't think I never had him, or they never had him, or whatever. But I really don't know who he is. They like some Indian people or something, but it really doesn't matter about the race. It's more of that he really tried it. Like he really tried it. So back in the day, they used to let us go in the room with them or whatever, right? I used to go in the room with my kids. You know, even with my four oldest, and I had all of them, they were young. I went in the room with every single one of them, and they got their teeth cleaned. So starting last year, or they probably started the year before, but I know when last year I went to take their stuff clean and stuff before school, it was like, oh, we don't do that no more. Um, you can't go in the room with them. Okay, okay. Boom, last year was smooth and good. They all went in there and got their stuff done. They older now anyway, so I ain't going to win them anyway. So, um, they end up calling AJ. My two oldest was already in there. Did, now they call AJ. Y'all know he's six years old. My six year old, if y'all don't know. They called him to come back though. When he first called him, I was like, I was about, I was getting up to go in there with him. He was like, no, you don't need to come. He's a big boy. He come here by himself. So I'm like, okay. I just try, even though I know they said that they don't want the parents to go with kids anymore from last year but I'm like okay that's fine so soon he wasn't even a, even in a five minutes y'all the man gonna bring him back oh no I can't do this I can't do this he won't open his mouth he won't open his mouth I, I'm not doing this today I said huh I said well that's why I said I need to go on up with him oh is he gonna open his mouth when you coming I said let me go on up with him and calm him down a little bit he was getting ready to cry and stuff, right? One thing about AJ, people don't know. AJ is very sensitive. And AJ is very scary. I'm going to say scary. Like, he he cry when he goes to the doctors. Anywhere like that. He is very scary. So, I have to go in there with him. I have to calm him down. You know, just to reassure him that he's going to be alright. It's, it's no pain. You done did this a million one time. This is not your first time going to the dentist or none of that. Right? So, um, so we went in there, and I was like, come on, AJ, get on in the seat. Um, it's not going to hurt. He just for the clean your teeth. Get on in the seat. So the man coming back in there, still running his mouth, snapping. Is she going to open your mouth? Are you going to open your mouth? Let me talk to my son and get him to calm down. So he's like, oh, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. He said open his mouth. Because I said one time, AJ, open your mouth, AJ. It's not going to hurt. Oh no, he gotta go. He's gotta go. He, I say, excuse me. I say, first of all, who was you talking to? I say because um, I say if you don't know how to deal with a six year old, you in the wrong profession. I said because you should know how to deal with kids. Oh no, I've been doing this for twenty some years. I just don't have time for this. He don't want to open his mouth. I got other patients. I said I don't give a damn about your other patients. I said but one thing, you not to be talking to my son crazy. I said when it come about mine. I don't play about mines. So I was like, come on, AJ, get up. He wanted he wanted even do nothing else. I ain't want him to do it anyway. I was like, come on, let's go. So we, the nurses and stuff, well, they, they was coming in to see what's going on. Cause baby, I started getting live. I started getting crunk. I started going off. Like I don't play about my kids at all. I don't play about my kids. You not disrespect my kids. The boy is six years old. What six year old is not gonna cry and afraid and you making him extra afraid, yelling and, and doing all this crazy stuff acting all aggressive so you really making him scared to open his mouth with you around her acting all aggressive right so that even pissed me off more so y'all when i tell y'all i was going off the nurses was coming in but we started going back and forth i'm walking out so the nurse was like no 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 ma'am like, what happened what's going on i said he need to learn how to deal with children he don't know how to deal with children he's my, my son open his mouth but he's not even taking the time out to try to get my son to feel comfortable to open his mouth I say don't worry about it you don't got to worry about this this is my last time my kids will be here I still have my two oldest back in the back this, this is the last time we're going to come here so she was like no no ma'am no um can we just give him a cleaner hour we can do him a cleaner y'all he going to tell the lady no 
no, 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 Dylan. She's just not polite. I say not polite. I say you're damn right. I'm not polite. My bad, y'all. Storage went out, and I had to stop and get some gas. Stop to uh, one station, and the man talking about his gas pump is so slow. I'm like, oh my god. I ain't got time to get back in the car and pull down to the next gas station. Now I'm on the highway. I'm on the way to work. For real. But yeah, I don't know why I left off like that, but um, let me just tell y'all. So when we was walking out, and the lady, the nurse lady, whatever, uh, they tell the sister, whatever she is, she was like, oh no, 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 I'm sorry. So my, she was like, the one like this trying to tell her, like, to hush, be quiet, calm down, or whatever. He still was like, oh, no, 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 I'm not taking him, I'm not seeing him, and he wouldn't see the other kids, I got all my six kids. Oh, no, 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 she's not polite, she's not polite. I said, you're damn right I ain't polite. Um, hey, you talking to my child the way you talking and how you acting, you're damn right I ain't polite. I said, I don't know who you think you is, but baby, I am not the one. So, I'm like walking out the room and about to walk out to the um, little small ass, um, you call it the waiting area and it was other people and the other mom and stuff and they was looking and it was basically kind of silly. it was kind of agreeing with me because I'm, I'm saying yeah if it's about my child definitely I'm not being polite because I was being nice I never had a problem with this place since I've been going I've been going since my children and my older children were small but one thing about it I don't care who you are you're not going to talk to me in a kind of way and you ain't gonna come at my kids in a kind of way right so, you think, if you're doing that with a six-year-old, what he was going to do when it was time for Akira to get going and be seen? Because Akira supposed to be seen, too. So, you was going to act this way with a one-year-old? Baby, let me tell y'all something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And I told the lady, I said, cancel my appointments for the other ones. I said, don't worry about it. This will be my last time I cut him. We will not be back here again. Because he really got me messed up. So I still had my two olds were still in the room, and um, the other four they didn't get to get theirs cleaned. But I ain't worried about it. I'll find them another dentist, and sometimes you know the school to do it or whatever. But it, it ain't that serious. I make sure they brush their teeth and all that. Well, they'll be all right until they go get. I find them another. I don't, now I was just saying earlier, y'all seen the video earlier when I was talking. I don't know if I mentioned, but I think I did. But I was just saying. I need to find me another distance because it's just too ghetto. And I told him, I said, I said, you acting too ghetto. I said, this is too ghetto right now. How you acting? I told him that too. You know what I'm saying? Don't be fooled because I got the goals and stuff in my mouth and all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I am from the hood, but I'm not ghetto. I'm not ghetto at all, but I am from the hood. And I will pop off on you if it's needed to be popped off on. But if it's not needed to be popped off, I'm not going to pop off and come up with a straight attitude and treat you under I'm not going to do that. And that would be killing me about the doctors and nurses and all that. If you don't like what you're doing, you shouldn't be in your position. You shouldn't be doing what you're doing. You know you have to do a little extra when it comes to look kids. No matter if he done did this three, four, five, six times. He's, a, he's six years old. When I tell y'all, I was so damn pissed off, y'all. I was damn pissed off. I was like, this mother, you know, but I ain't cuss. I haven't, I didn't say not nail cuss word. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say not nail cuss word, but I let it be known, honey. I was getting loud and everything. They about had to get me up out of there. But the lady from, lady, I keep telling y'all about it. She, she was like, I'm going to call the manager. Uh, I guess whatever manager. I'm going to call the manager. And she did call them. Uh, I guess it was telling them, who, telling them what happened and stuff. She was like, once again, I apologize. I'm so sorry. She was like, he normally don't be here. We just have him here because we don't have your doctor that's normally here. We don't, she's not here right now. So he just um, taking in. I said, yeah, but y'all shouldn't have nobody like that. That's not, no, they don't have patience for kids. He don't need to be here. Y'all need to find y'all somebody else. I said, what he just did was very uncalled for. I said, but I'm not worried about it. I said, I'm just gonna find me on another dentist. She said, I'm just so sorry. I'm just so sorry. She just kept apologizing. And she was like, um, she gonna have a manager later, whatever, call me. 
they could call, they not call. I'm not going back there. I'm not taking my kids back there. I stay in this big old city. We got millions of them. Um, ditches off. And I want to find me a clean one. Not saying they dirty, but I should have showed y'all how the thing look. It's, it's, you know, when you take kids to the den, they need to have, you know, like they say, looks. First things, first thing you see is what you want to, you know, saying what you like, whatever. But your appearance is everything, and appearance that ain't that good, anyways. You know, but everybody from the hood um, go there, and that was mostly what Medicaid signed y'all to with them. Especially if you're in that area, and where we was, I used to stay on that side, so that's why they assigned me to them. But I stay like 15 minutes away from that, anyway. So I'm just gonna sign me. I mean, enough did this on this side. I ain't got time for that. But well, I said, baby, see, people be making me go out my character, and I be trying not to do it. I be really trying. Girl, what you doing? She just easing herself on all over all the lanes. But yeah, yeah, I be trying not to do it because, you know, I'm not ghetto like that. I am from the hood. I, I am. I got a little hood in me. I don't like to go over stuff for you. But I will pop off. And that's my trigger. When you come from my kids or my mama or my family, I'm going to pop off. I will pop off. Very fast. So, he got it today. No, I, I don't really care. Like, no. Like, don't. No. You got to just have more patience, man, for kids. You just got to have more patience. Boy, it's six years old. I don't care. Oh, he's a big boy. He can do it. No. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like that. Because, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was a child, I remember going to the dentist and the man was just so rough with me. And, you know what I'm saying? Acting like, I don't like that. And then, Rashad also had a bad experience with the dentist. So, we're not going to play when it comes to the dentist, the doctor tree, not training. Because we're going to be both that had bad experiences. You know what I'm saying? We both don't have bad experience. No, I'm not just gonna let you shake on his mouth and do all that. No, you ain't even do that. Hell no. Baby, y'all is not facing me at all. It's just like, I just 